is the best gold bracelet for daily wear? What's the most durable? What's gonna last? What's, you know, not too flashy and it's great for all purposes. We're gonna go over that in this video. I have about 10 gold bracelets we're gonna look at. We're kinda gonna rank them, you know, which one is best for daily wear and, you know, which ones aren't. Before I do that, make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys as always. And let's check out these gold bracelets and see which one is best for daily wear. start out with ones that aren't great for daily wear they're more for special occasions and something that you know you want to be doing stuff that you're not using your hands a lot like what you know let's say work or, or playing sports or stuff like that so I would say the first guy here that is not great for daily wear and the big reason why I'm choosing this is because this is the only bracelet where I've had an issue and that is one of these barrels in this ice link cracked open and it happened at work and I think it was from hitting my door handle right before I went to open the door um, besides you know that issue it's been great I love it it's one of my favorite bracelets has a lot of shine factor to it it's very unique and it's hard to find these ice links over five millimeters this thing's almost five and a half millimeters so uh, I got it from Perlex Gold. It's a great bracelet, but not great for daily wear. I'd say five millimeters is a great width for daily wear. Um, for me, I don't usually go past you know 12 millimeters as far as wearing a bracelet, silver or gold. There's people out there that like larger ones, you know, the 15s to 20 or even larger, but but not me. So take that one out for everyday wear secondly we got the moon cut and both of the you know these are the ice link and this are hollow bracelets so that's a big reason why they are not great for daily wear just like the ice link though has a high shine factor looks like i might need to put it in my um ultrasonic cleaner though still has a good shine factor to it but it's a beautiful bracelet, very delicate feeling though, you know. Uh, it's probably better as a chain, because chains, you know, if it's hollow, last longer because, you know, you're not banging your, your neck and chest area up against stuff all day. So that would be one that is not great for everyday wear. Another one is kind of for special occasions be this guy here the Mosinite 10 karat solid gold tennis bracelet beautiful bracelet a lot of shine to it haven't had any issues and I've worn it a lot but just because it's stones uh, is another reason why it may not be best for every day now if you work in like an office or um, you know, don't play a lot of sports, stuff like that. This probably would be just fine for, for a daily wear piece. But for me, uh, you know, I work outdoors a lot of the time. And, you know, I just would hate for something to happen to this guy. Okay. That would be the third one. To... Uh, now, this is where it gets tough, guys. We got ropes, Miami Cubans. Heavy link or power link, and we got this curb. Now, probably this curb, right? I'd say it would last and do just fine for everyday wear, but we're going with what I think is best for everyday wear. So, this would be um, a close second or third to these ones I have left here. We'll uh, say that it's not number one when it comes to daily wear. I'd say, yeah, top three. Now, uh, this is tough, but we're going to say that these are number two. We're going to go with the heavy link. Actually, we're going to go with the ropes. Let's do the ropes. These are prism cut ropes, um, but, you know, this works for diamond cut ropes as well. Solid gold, great, great bracelets. Um, solid, since it's solid, they're, they're durable. 
you know, they do just have the regular lobster clasp. So you may have a little issue there, you know, with the end cap or, or the lobster clasp itself. So keep that in mind. These are 14 karat, but um, I would say that these are number three, right? Number two is the heavy link. Heavy Link is a very durable, awesome bracelet that I think is very strong. I would put the a Franco bracelet as number two as well because they are very durable, strong links. Probably just as strong as these Miami Cubans, but since it's got the lobster clasp, that is why it is number two, okay? Number one. That Miami Cuban link. Now, the higher the carrot, maybe you don't want to wear it every day. You know, if it was 18 or 22 carat. But being 14 carat, this guy on the left, this rose gold one's 14. And then this yellow gold one's 10 carat. These do just fine. You know, and if they get dinged up, not a big, you can just get them repolished, you know. You don't lose that much gold when they do it, you know. Uh, maybe like, you know, 1.5% or something. So if you do it every, get it polished every year or two, you'll be just fine. And they got the box, you know, figure eight box lock class. These are great. I haven't had any issues with mine. I've heard Kamano say that over time these, you know, lose their strength, but you can readjust them, you know, it's pretty simple. Hopefully I was able to help you out guys as far as you know if you're looking for a bracelet that's you can wear every day and You don't have to worry about it. You know getting damaged or breaking. I'd say these three are great options Including the Franco. So thanks for watching Appreciate it. Make sure you like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys later. Baltimax out